hi and welcome to magpie moonchild my name is kaylee um this is a bit of a deviation from my normal type of decks that i buy and i don't know quite why i was drawn to this deck to buy it it's been in the plastic since i bought it i've had it like nearly a year um and i've never opened it and i couldn't tell you why the image on the front is what drew me to it and it reminds me of a character this is going to sound really naff <laughs> a character that was on power rangers um she was like the henchwoman of the the ultimate bad guy or whatever um anyway it the, the eyes the red eyes is what drew me into it and i can't tell you why anyway this is tarot 13 or 13 tarot by necro it's a darker deck than normal it's black and white and red mostly um what i'll do is i'll take the plastic off so that it isn't shining around i can't believe there's actually dust on the plastic that's how long i've had it stored on a shelf waiting to be opened let's take that off okay so yeah as i say it's tarot 13 by necro i literally never opened this deck i bought it a while ago um and i just felt drawn to it and then didn't actually do anything with it so that's the top it is a tuck box and there's all the C details and barcode and then obviously on the back it's by Fournier I think this might be the only Fournier deck I've got actually it is slightly smaller than the traditional US games right away but we'll see we'll see how it goes as I say I bought it because of the the black white and red imagery imagery and um then never opened it and it doesn't seem to want to open um so yeah as i say it's a tuck box so we've got a booklet within there let's have a look so i'll start with the booklet um so yeah tarot 13 instructions in this english uh, spanish english french german and portuguese by the look of it um and then it's got um contents what is tarot the major arcana the minor arcana spreading the cards and diagram so if i just skip the spanish to there we go this isn't stapled this booklet it is literally just folded pieces of paper that's printed so we've got what is tarot so it explains about it that it's got jewish kabbalah um in morocco first in morocco um and then we've got major arcana so it has an explanation so the name what it represents normal position reverse position for each of the major arcana and then it goes into the minor arcana with the sword suit um so if i look at it yes yeah, swords cups Ooh. hang on swords and cups seems to be a page miss missing oh oh it folds out oh it folds out into it oh okay so it is a booklet that folds out it is stapled it's just folded in half how silly do i look but i knew there was two suits missing so yeah it goes swords wands cups and pentacles then it goes into spreading the tarot cards and how to follow and how to do that and then obviously it goes into french german and all those on the back right the way through that was weird but kind of cool at the same time so that's the booklet that comes with it um that's the back of the cards i love that image on the back it's so regal and dark and oh beautiful um and then it's got the 13 tarot just the top card with it again that imagery and then obviously it's just got 13 tarot by necro and then we go into the cards so we have uh, the fool and it has the various descriptions the magician so 
uh, and then it's got the High Priestess, which was reversed for some reason. The Empress. The Emperor. The Hierophant. The Lovers. The Chariot. Justice. Obviously, it's got justice in the 8th position instead of the 11th, so I'm assuming that strength will be an 11. The Hermit, the Wheel of Fortune, Strength, Hanged Man, I love that image, Death, Temperance, the Devil, the Tower, the Star, the moon, the sun, judgment, the world, ace of swords, the two of swords, so these are just pip cards, three of swords, four of swords, the five of swords, the six of swords, the seven of swords, the eight of swords, the nine of swords, and the ten of swords, and then you have, oh, they're just floating all over each other, which is nice that they flow over each other. Um, the Knave of Swords, instead of the Page, it's a Knave. The Knight of Swords. The Queen of Swords. The King of Swords. And that goes into the Ace of Wands with this crow head. Skull. Uh, two of Wands, again, Pips. Three of Wands. Four of Wands. The Five of Wands. Six of Wands. Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands, Nine of Wands, and the Ten of Wands. And then it goes into the page of the Knave of Wands again, sorry. Knight of Wands, Queen of Wands, the King of Wands. Then it goes to Ace of Cups and the Egg Timers in this one. Uh, or Hourglasses. So Two of Cups, the Three of Cups, Four of Cups, the Five of Cups, Six of Cups. Seven of Cups. Um, oh, oh, they've just all gone wash all over each other. Eight of Cups. Nine of Cups. Ten of Cups. The Knave of Cups. The Knight of Cups. Queen of Cups. Uh, King of Cups. And then we're into the Pentacles, which have been keys in this. Ace of Cups. Uh, Ace of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, The Five of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, and then we have the Knave of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, the imagery on these are beautiful, the Queen of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles. As I said, they do wash over each other beautifully, they do slide beautifully over each other. The shuffle is just beautiful. It's like shuffling butter. It's lovely. Um, I wouldn't recommend this for beginners um, because of the pip cards. You kind of have to have some sort of grasp of meaning because obviously that you're not going to draw anything from that imagery other than its keys. Um, it is a beautiful dark deck. It is. Oh, look at that. The Hierophant. Um, it is beautiful dark with these highlights of red. It's not as dark and sinister as I thought it was going to be. Um, I don't know why I thought it would be sinister um, with the devil. Um, but yeah, no, it's it shuffles beautifully. It's not a heavy deck. The cards are, are thin, but they're not easily bent. They're slightly smaller than a traditional tarot deck. It's narrower than a playing card. Um... But yeah, it's a beautiful deck. I mean, look at the artwork on the back. I thought it would be darker than it is, um, a darker energy than it is, but it, it really isn't. Um, it's actually a really nice deck. Um, the art is beautiful. The simplicity of the monochrome with red, it's just beautiful deck. Um, as I said, it, I wouldn't recommend it for beginners um, just because you kind of need to have your meanings down because it is literally just a pip deck. Um, I don't know if it's based more on a Tarot de Marseille style tarot. Um, obviously, I'm not overly familiar with that. Um, 
type of tarot it's another thing i kind of want to delve into um at some point i might have a little look into thoth i don't know um but at the moment i am just my traditional normal normal it's not normal they're all normal um the more rider Waite smith um imagery uh tarot um but yeah i might have a look it might be a tarot de marseille style deck um with the pips but i'm not really sure how that how that differentiates um from the Rider Waite Smith style tarot, um, but yeah, it's beautiful. It's, the artwork is lovely. It's again, it's that matte gloss. It's shiny but not sticky, and it's not overly sheeny, shiny. Sh it's sheen rather than shine, if that makes any sense to you. Um, but yeah, it's a beautiful deck. It's lovely. It actually feels really nice. It feels quite powerful actually in my hands. It's it's got energy in it, so yeah it's lovely anyway again that is the 13 tarot by uh necro produced by fournier um but yeah it's beautiful i think if this is the quality of the cards i might buy another fournier deck at some point in the future because the quality is lovely and it's quite a nice size deck in your hands that being that little bit smaller um if you struggle with normal sized tarot cards being slightly too large it's actually a really good sized deck. You can easily manoeuvre it with your hands. It's lovely. And as I say, they wash over each other lovely. Without feeling too slidey. It's lovely. Anyway, I hope that's shown you what you want um, to know about the uh, 13 Tarot by Necro. Um, I will put the link below if it's still on the wherever I bought it. Uh, try and find out where I got it from. And if it's still available, I will put the link below. Anyway, I hope that's shown you what you want to know thank you so much for watching i will see you again soon bye for now